Hello people of the internet. Well today I am doing a deep dive into pencil cases, different types of pencil cases and I am doing this for my own benefit and also because when I recently talked about a pencil case that I bought I said oh I might make a video on pencil cases and a couple of people said oh yes please I'd like that. So let me move all of this stuff out of the way and let's start looking at pencil cases. All right, so what I'm really not talking about is is these type of pencil cases. These, you know, these are like the pencil cases that you had when you was at school, and people still buy now, I suppose. So you know, you zip on top, big hole. This one came from the Derwent Pencil Museum, um, and I bought it as a souvenir. And then this is the type that kids have to use nowadays because they're clear, and when you go into exam, you've got to have a clear pencil case. And then this is a fancy one, you know, like that you buy that they sell at back to school time and us stationery collectors will buy. And then there's this one, which is the type of one that you get on you know, Amazon. It's got a few slots. It's supposed to be a multi-function pencil case. These are not the pencil cases I'm going to be talking about. The pencil cases I'm going to be talking about are the ones for us colorists who want to store their pencils or artists if you want to um, store your pencils in a way that's you know a little bit a little bit more than, than these type of pencil cases now i don't know whether to start big and go down to small or start small so i'm going to start small i think now this is the cheapest type of uh pencil case storage device that you can probably get well, apart from a cardboard box, you know, free from the supermarket. This is a canvas pencil roll. And these come in different sizes, up to a maximum of about 48 pencils. Um, I think when they get sort of bigger than holding 36 pencils, they get a little bit unwieldy because you can't really roll them because they're called pencil rolls. I always tuck the um, tip under the flap because it's supposed to protect the flap and then you know you are supposed to roll it up pencil roll <laughs> and then you know put your strings around it kind of thing and you can see that's this has got 48 pencils in it and it, it's quite an unwieldy uh lump so you can see why really any bigger than 48 pencils would be Mm, not that practical. I think with 36 pencils in them, they're quite nice. There's um, Niji make one, they call, it's called the Niji roll, which is kind of more of a plasticky material. I quite like this, this sort of home spun, homemade kind of uh, ones that you can get. And of course you can make these yourself. They're quite straightforward. They're just, you know, sort of two pieces of canvas, a flap of canvas, and a big string of elastic that you've you've put in there. So that what I do with this is I've got a set of 48 pencils in here and I just fold it um, like this. And then I find it, it's a little bit neater and it's easy to, to carry the pencils around in it. So this holds a maximum of 48 pencils. And they are held in individual slots, which a lot of pencil collectors like. They like their pencils to be held cosseted in individual slots so the next size up from that really that you can you know you know you can buy is a 72 and um this is a pencil case that you can get that fits 72 pencils in it and it has uh, individual little pages and each of these little individual pages holds 10 pencils so there's 10 slots per page so, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages that hold 10 pencils. And then this page here, well, there's got another two slots there for pencils. So you could, you could put two pencils in there. Uh, um, and then the rest of the space is really, I suppose, for a ruler, an eraser, and a sharpener. But obviously you can put more pencils in there. You'd have to fill that one up a little bit to stop them being floppy kind of thing. So these are mainly used for a 72 uh, set collection and uh, I used to use this one for my 72 set of, of polychromos which I don't use it anymore. Um, I don't actually like when it's full, it's quite chunky, it's quite a chunky little 
you know it's dense it's big and fat and dense kind of thing but this is an option for 72 pencils the next option for 72 pencils i mean you don't have to get a pink flamingo <laughs> unless you really want to um but this is a also 70 or, or sold as a 72 slot pencil case uh, and it's a little bit as you can see it's about the same height depth whatever that is as the small one but it is narrower because it's only got three slots whereas this one has one two three four five or pages i should say this one has three pages and this one has five pages so this one is a little bit slimmer um, and this one has 14 slots per page so you can fit 14 pencils per page which equals 70 and then this last page here actually has slots for um, 10 pencils you can fit one two three four five six seven eight and two in there 10 pencils and again this should be a pencil and a thingy uh, a sharpener and an eraser but you could put more pencils in there if you wanted um, so it does hold more than 70 um, I, I counted it as an 80 because of these extra slots here so it does hold more than 72 even though when you look it up on Amazon um, it will say uh, 70 72 for it um, this is yet another one that I'm not mega fond of. I don't know why. I'm not sure why I don't like these as a 72. I think it's because when I've got a 72 set, and you know most of the Derwent sets come in 72, I like to see more all at once. So I'm going to show you now my favourite um, pencil case for 72 pencils, and that is this one just turn my lamp down a bit because it was a bit bright okay so this one as you can see i have my um chroma flow in it my 72 set of chroma flow and this holds uh 72 pencils in these slots here this is a 72 exactly and then you have this extra strap here and one extra there which is quite nice for a blending pencil there and i've no idea what you'd put in that bit maybe an eraser or something an electric eraser or or something but to me this is how i like 72 pencils set out because i can have this fully open on the desk i don't have to go through tiny little pages to find one of the pencils and i also like the fact that they i don't know that i don't have to fight with them to get them out I, I do like the instant access size of things with these little little cases i find that i don't know the there's lots of flaps in the way it's just me probably but this is this is the kind of this is the pencil case that i prefer for 72 everything i'm showing by the way is linked down below so if, if there's it's amazon affiliate links which obviously don't cost you any more to buy that it's just an easy way for me to link the, the items that i'm showing so that is my favorite pencil case for 72 it's also nice and slim and trim and you know you can fit it on a bookcase nice and easy or it's just i prefer the 72 sets to be in these so another pencil case that is one that has individual pencil slots is this one and this one my husband bought me for christmas it's, it's called the oxford pencil case or something and uh, this has individual slots it has one two three four five six pages each of the six pages has 20 slots in it and it holds exactly 120 pencils if you want to see two four six eight 80 pencils along the top of your desk in one go then this may be the option for you if you prefer to see more pencils and not open pages open pages over pages this one this one might be an option for you and it does hold exactly 120 there isn't a ruler slot and an eraser slot um, so this is a, definitely an option if you and it's it's neat this one this is neat and tidy when it's full it's quite nice it doesn't get much fatter than that it's got one zip one zip with individual slots that's hard to come by because most of the one zip pencil cases are the ones that we're just about to look at next which are the ones that have not individual pencil slots now these are probably the most well-known pencil cases um in the you know coloring community for storing pencils these are by usually by bitsky bt sky 
or Shulana or other companies like that and these hold 120 pencils when you buy it it will say 120 pencils um, but if you have a look you will see that it has uh, 22 uh, slots per page and there's five uh, pages like this uh, which equals 110 and then this page here holds 16 pencils not including uh, these spaces here again your sharpener eraser and what should be a ruler you can use them but if you don't count them there's 16 other slots so it holds 126 so when you buy this one with the three pages so you can see it's got three zips this one will hold 126 pencils now i like these this one is a nice um what is that feeling like it feels like a waterproof material and uh, the loops are nice and tight with 22 slots per page it makes for a nice tight um, hold in place for the pencils and while I'm on that note I should show you this pencil case which looks exactly the same well, apart from the fact this one's got a pattern on it and this one's plain and it also has three zips so one two three which you'd in, you would believe is actually you know would fit the same 126 pencils but this one is actually has bigger slots so be wary of this when you're buying this has only got 16 slots per page so six times 16 and i'll show you that in a minute it's only 96 pencils this one is um five times 22 pages plus the extra 16 now why is this one six it's because its last page doesn't have the ruler and eraser and um, sharpener place because this one was actually made for pens even though when I bought this this was actually listed as a pencil case not a pen case and when it turned up I was like why are the why are the holes so big it's, it's like the pencils literally fall out you know it was it's not tight like the other one and then I realised it was because it was for pens. And I'm using a Sharpie there. Using a Sharpie there as an example because everyone knows how fat a Sharpie is. But and then when it, you know, if I get a Prismacolor pencil, this is a Prismacolor, but it just falls out. So I started when I buy a pencil case now, literally zooming in into the picture on Amazon and counting the pencils that they show in the, in the, in the uh, in the picture because you know this is perfect for pens but I bought it at the time for pencils I actually usually keep my gel pens in it now which is why I've got this little swatch sheet of um, the gel pens that I keep in it they're somewhere else at the moment and um, yeah because the gel pen fits quite nicely in there and uh, yeah it only holds 96 so be wary these look exactly the same but this is a pen case whereas the other one is a pencil case so this one back to this one 126 um, nice and tight and what you can also get as well is you can get ones that have four zips so this has got one two three four zips and this has the same capacity it's got 22 slots per page it has seven of the pages with 22 slots and then the last page here holds 16 well i do count this as two so it's 14 plus two pick 16 and obviously you do have the space here as well so the capacity of this one with a four zips is around 170 pencils so seven pages of 22 pencils each 154 and the extra there so you can get about 170 pencils in there this is a nice size one for the full set of um prisma colors because obviously you can have gaps um between the colors so if you want to break up so i don't have a full set of prisma colors in here but i break up the colors so these are the yellows the oranges and that kind of stuff and then i usually leave some gaps so the this one with the four zips is is nice for a anything above 120 set which leads me on to this one which is similar but if you look carefully this one you have to be careful it's slightly bigger just slightly bigger there because this one has 24 slots per page so 24 slots per page 
and it's got four zips so it has the eight pages like that uh, eight pages but only seven of them have the 24 slots that equals 168 and then the last slot at the end holds 18 pencils so this one will hold 186 pencils and in this one i have my set of 180 brute funas in here um and it's the perfect size for that so it's worth bearing in mind when you're looking for these pencils count the slots see which size you're getting because you know you look at these visually on a picture on amazon and they will look the same they've both got four zips they've both got the same sort of color you know they'll probably listed as 160 pencil case or 150 pencil case they don't put the sort of number in it so be wary and it's interesting as well because i i showed you this one just a second ago that with the wider slots that hold pens and how you can tell a pen case over a pencil case is it doesn't have the sharpener and eraser slot at either end and uh, I have this one as well this Shulana one and this one is the same it doesn't have this one is bigger this one has 21 slots per page 8 times 21 pages and it doesn't have the sharpener and um, eraser slots at the end so this will hold 168 pens and as you can see the slots the slots are not quite as big as the other one they will fit a sharpie but they're more suited for fitting gel pens in so this is a, a 168 pen case again be wary okay so what happens if you've got more than 180 pencils in a slit let's let's look at even bigger pencil cases now when you get to the next size up and wanting to fit more than 120 pencils in a pencil case you're probably going to have to start looking at these ones with the wider slots these wider slots fit three pencils in so you can fit three pencils in quite easily there's three artesas going in there and uh, let's see if we can put three pro oh, we can easy for it three polychromas in, uh, three Prismacolors in there because they are skinny pencils. But can we fit three Doe pencils in there, which are much wider pencils? Let's have a look. It is tighter, but they do fit. Now, what these are useful for, if you bunch your pencils together, if you collate your pencils together in trios or sets of blending threes or whatever it's quite nice to to put the three blending pencils together i'm not a huge fan of these for pencils i think you get a lot of pencils in there they i don't know they feel then i prefer the individual slot slotted pencil cases for pencils but let's go through the stats of this one this looks like this on the outside it came in all different patterns and you'll notice that um the handles on the side and the pages open this way so they are landscape pages and there's eight slots per page so there's eight slots and each slot holds three pencils so each slot holding three pencils is 24 pencils per page and then there are six pages so one two three four five six so this this pencil case would hold 144 pencils three to a slot now one of the things that i use these pencil cases for is for pens <laughs> i put two pens per slot they fit nice and easy not too tight you can actually fit three of their slim pens but it's a bit tight then i like using them for these so i have in this one i have my arteza tweed markers and uh yeah they're nice i i like them for, for also when they're full they are chunky monkeys so you can see let's zip this up and you can see the little uh pages pop out a little bit sometimes which you have to jerry rig around a little bit but there you go so chunky monkey pencil cases when they're full but they are nice and useful for uh if you if you like putting your pencils in three now this hold held 144 pencils as i said they do bigger ones this one is 192 so this holds 190 
yeah this one holds 192 and the reason why that is is because it's got two more pages so one two three four five six seven eight so basically it has an extra whole leaf in the middle so it gives it the extra capacity um so it's the same uh landscape format with the same number of slots but making 192 pencils in total and this one is also uh the one that has the three slots in it and you can see size wise it is the same size is it or is it a little bit bigger a little bit bigger maybe a centimeter bigger same depth this one when you open it instead of it being landscape the pages are actually portrait so they're they're fixed on the long side in this one they were fixed on the short side now i prefer being fixed on the short side because you have all the access to get the pencil in and out on the on the side that it needs to take it out in in these ones the pencils are let's get a pencil rather than that oh, i've left them all in the pencil cases i've got no pencils left to play with i've got two of these um they are they're not so bad when they're on these two outer pages but when you get into the inner pages you have to kind of jerry rig around with this i went <laughs> you have to muck around muck around with the thing and i i just prefer the, the ones opening that way i also prefer them when they're on the desk if you've got it this way you've got more space on your desk to see you know two whole pages of pencils whereas on this one it's taking more desk space you know you can't have them just up there and, and your your work book down here kind of thing so this one has nine slots per page so nine slots here the other one had eight obviously it takes three pencils which is 27 pencils per page and it has eight pages so you can have 216 pencils in this one and yeah, so this is this is a bigger case. Now they do even bigger ones of these with, you know, more pages. As I've, I've seen one with, you know, another page here, which would add another 54 pencils into it. So you can see the number will go up and up and up. And, you know, you can get ones that hold 300 pencils. And now if you're interested, the one that Arteza make that looks like this, it comes in this packet. I think they do a couple of the designs. Um, it, it, that is the same, exactly the same configuration as, as this one that I showed. So it's got eight slots per page and it holds 192. It says 205 pencil capacity. You'd be slipping some in sort of, you'd be put, in some places you'd be putting four pencils to a slot, I think, in, in that instance. But if, you, if you're interested in the RC's one, it is the same as configuration as this one. And finally, on the front of the the ones with three slots, is this type of pencil case. Now, I had never tried this type of pencil case. It's because I wasn't sure how it worked. So I'm now going to do a little bit of fast footage while I fill this pencil case up. Now, it says it holds 96 pencils. So we're going to give that a go, see whether 96 fit in. Fast forward and listen to some music as I stick in. <laughs> 96 pencils. So I think I'm done. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 8. 24 times 3 is 60, 72, is it? 72? Yeah. So 72. Now I've got 4 in that one and 4 in that one. So 72, 73, 74. So to, in order to hold 96, it must want me to put 4 in each slot. Yeah. If I try to get 4 in each slot things start going a bit awry i can't 
cannot get four. Well, I can just about, but they go at a funny angle. Okay, let's try and get four in that one. They go at a funny angle because this elastic here isn't aligned with the bit of the pocket at the bottom. So you can't get four in there. Okay, but let's just keep going. Let's see how many that we can get four in. I mean, I would be struggling to get... I can get one in there. Yeah, this one. This is one of the reasons why I personally don't like this one. I mean, other people may like it because you can see a lot of pencils in one go. But in all reality, it was when it was at 72, if I wanted to see 72 pencils in one go, I'd use the one that I showed earlier that spread out. Because this one, I don't know, this one feels like there's a lot of pencils banging into each other. I mean, usually when you shut a pencil case, there's one row of pencils here, there's one row of pencils here. There are two pencils bashing against each other. But here we've got them bashing into them, bashing into them, bashing into them. So there's really a lot going on. Plus, it actually, it zips up quite nicely when it when it's full. It's quite a sturdy pencil case, actually. It looks like it's made by the same company. It's got the same logo as it on that as that green one. Yeah. Hmm. For 72 maybe. For any more than that. I mean I actually bought this to put a hundred pencils in. I bought it for my light fast pencils. And I would not put my hundred light fast in here. It looks beautiful. It looks lovely, but yeah, not for me this one. It does look nice, sips up well. It takes a lot of your space on your desk as well. You'd have to have it to one side maybe upside down like that so you could pull the different pencils out i think i'd use it for if i was going to use it i'd use it for sets of threes you know trio pencils 72 at the most but i think the other options are better for those okay so that's it that's my deep dive into pencil cases which one was your favorite which is the one that you like the best which is the pencil case that you favor when you're putting your pencils away do you like the ones with the individual slots do you like the ones with the uh the, the threesomes what do you what is it that you like when you're when you're picking a pencil case let me know down, down, downstairs in the comment down in the comments and if you're interested in any of the ones that i've shown i will link as many as i can find down below so you can go off and and, and investigate and buy your own if you so wish so thanks very much for watching take care everyone bye